Hey everyone, it's Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas and I have a beautiful home for sale behind me here today. 2,950 square foot. It's a next generation home by Lennar. I'll show you what that means in a moment. Two car garage, two story, four bedroom, four bath, listed for 775 and it has a beautiful pool. So let's go inside and take a look. Follow me, I can't wait to show you. Come on. Okay everyone, here we are. 2,950 square foot home, four bedroom, four bath. Now let's go take a look uh, down the side real quick. So we're going to have a gate here, uh, some electronics for the pool, I believe. Um, and then maybe some solar up there. We'll take a look. Uh, so there is a code for this lock here to get in the gate. That's important, which I'll show you in a moment. So there's a nice gate with a locked uh, lock. Oh my gosh, electronic lock. I can't speak today, but I'll try my best. Um, nice modern garage door. Uh, no like inlays there, just nice, super flat. Uh, it does have this brick, uh, brickwork on the front as well. That's gonna be the elevation for this home. Nice desert landscape. Very clean, very nice, cool front pavered area. Uh, you can see there's an overhead uh, patio cover here. But plenty of room for this beautiful bench, which I hope they leave here. And then you can see the pavers. This is kind of the end of the side yard here, but I'll show you because we're a corner lot on this home. So if you walk out here, you'll see down the neighborhood. So the home is here. So yeah, we are on a corner lot. And actually, the gate to the neighborhood is going to be right there. So access right here the new raiders facilities right over here as well as the i-15 uh the inspirata communities back over this way and i'll show you the las vegas strip in a moment because we can see it from this home so nice modern door has this glass panel insert here and it looks like i locked this out it locked us out so these Lennar homes, uh, their thing is they come with everything. So they do do a lot of upgrades already on the home and they leave you with minimal choices to make. You can always do other upgrades as well. So as you come in the home, big open, you know, two story, above higher than two story ceiling. I mean, that is just a really, really tall ceiling with the stairway going up and it kind of opens up as you walk out this way. And then you can see some sort of loft up there, which we'll check out. As you immediately come in and turn to the right, we'll have the guest bathroom here. So just a nice half bath powder room. Love to have these. It's nice to have the half bath that don't have the shower uh, for just your guests to use the restroom. So nice little toilet water area. The Lennar homes do have this uh, skip trow texture. I don't know if you can see that. So that's going to be on the ceilings and the walls and that's kind of Lennar usually does that. A, lot, a couple of the builders do that, but Lennar definitely does. This door is going to bring us out to the two car garage. A lot of professional racks in there. Uh, install, which is real nice. So you do have storage. Good size garage. Does have a water softener as well. These people are obviously in the process of moving. You have your sprinkler controller over against the wall there. And a few more racks on this side. And then we also have a door here, which I'll show you in a minute. That door is important. Um, the garage door opener is also uh, on that door as well. You can see next to it. But we'll head inside here. Do have these really long rectangular gray tiles. So a real nice look, and that's going to be throughout the downstairs and all the wet areas. Do have this upgraded banister, uh, the white with the dark wood on it. So it looks really nice, kind of opens up the area as you walk in. And they do have this, uh, these really nice, what are those called, valances on, the, on top of the blind. So that is kind of a huge upgrade, almost looks model homey uh, with that. Based on the location of this home, I don't think it's a model, but hey, we'll find out. Usually they advertise that on the home. So they do have really nice ceiling fans. You'll see the three propeller. They're decorated or staged very nice. This may be a staged home as well. But, it, you know, their furniture looks really, really looks nice and matched. Really nice table over here. So this is going to be the open area, your living space. You have the uh, living space here, a uh, nice designated dining area there. And then you have your big island uh, with this black and white granite 
countertop on top here. Uh, really nice backsplash as well. You'll note there's a backsplash above the cabinets that's different also. It looks really nice, kind of a nice touch. Gives you a little glimmer off of these lights here. Really big pendant lights. I like those a lot, those are cool. What are those about? Gosh, that's about 10, 10 inches, maybe 11 inches around, those are big. That's great, upgraded big basin sink, dark espresso cabinets, everything's in really great shape, very clean, stainless appliances, LG. Uh, upgraded faucet here, really nice sink, uh, some kind of water filtration system, osmosis unit. Uh, there it is back there. So you do have water filtration as well. Usually with those, you just have to get the filter changed, you know, once a year or something like that. Double oven here, uh, very nice. Again, um, high quality. Everything looks very new. I think this one was built in 2019, I wanna say. I'll have to double check that. Oh, they do have a built-in spice rack, real nice as well. I know my spice cabinet could use a little organization. Um, this granite has some spots on it that I really like. So you see these, um, it's almost like a crystal, crystallized spot. So it has some natural uh, blemishes that I actually really like on here. Looks cool, gives it a unique look like this right here. Pretty cool. Um, you know, so again, it's natural stone, so it just kind of does what it does. We have some kind of some rust marks here, but I like it, a little bit of greenish tone. So a really cool uh, island there, I like that a lot. Looks like a nice stove, very clean again. This house is super clean. I mean, it's ready to, to move right into. This fridge is the nice uh, see-through. You can see inside the fridge, cabinets over. Um, pantry here, plenty of, plenty of storage here for food if you wanna use this just for a food pantry. Maybe a few of your cooking appliances. But yeah, plenty of room at the bar here as well. Um, out back, we're gonna check that out. Check that out in a moment. We got a beautiful pool out there, but let's finish uh, looking at downstairs. So, I better pick up the pace. So this is gonna be a long tour. I'm talking a lot. Um, so as we come through here, remember I said next gen home. So I haven't showed you a next gen home yet. Uh, as we walk through this door, we're gonna come to the next gen area. So it's actually a separate living area. So this is the only door connecting the main house to this area that we're in right now. So this is gonna be the main living room. Um, they have it set up as kind of there's an office here. You got a Peloton bike there. Um, again, it's just got a kind of a staged feel to it, but it also doesn't, I don't know. Very interesting, but very clean. Uh, so you do have a full kitchen here. You have the microwave. Well, not a full kitchen because you don't have a stove, but you do have, you know, a sink, you have a microwave, you have a refrigerator. So, I mean, you know, you get yourself a hot plate or something and, and you're in business, you can pretty much do everything in here. The garage door, which I pointed out earlier, is this one. So this walks into the garage. Uh, there's the door we came out before. So just another angle on the garage uh, here. But this does have access to the garage here. And then we also have the access to the home here. So this is the main living area. We do have our, you know, couch, TV set up here. Um, and this is the main front door for this next gen home. So same door as the front door. And we come out and we have the fence here with the padlock for, for the lock. So, um, and then this is the side yard here going out to the beautiful pool, which we will see in a moment. So anyways, you can let yourself in here. You come right here. Don't even disturb whoever lives in the other part of the home. Um, rent this out, mother-in-law, daughter. I mean, I don't know, the, the list goes on and on who could live in this next gen suite. But it is a nice feature. And then you have a full bath here. I'm not sure why I didn't turn on, oh, the light's automatic. That's why I did turn it on. So we have a nice vanity, that same espresso cabinet as the rest of the home. Uh, recessed lighting in here, standard fiberglass, tile look shower, um, chrome uh, hardware on everything, chrome door handles, and then the bedroom back here. So really nice, good sized bedroom, big queen bed, um, nice furniture. I really like those little lamps there. So they do have a lot of furniture in this room. I mean, there's a really big dresser here. You got the queen size bed, the two nightstands, which are smaller nightstands, but nightstands nonetheless. You have this mirror here, and then it comes back to the full walk-in closet. So you do have a lot of space back here. 
Uh, if you look, you'll see a really nice uh, washer dryer combo here. So you can even wash your clothes on this side. So you really don't need the other house, uh, access to the house for anything other than maybe the stove. Um, and then this has a sliding door going out to that beautiful pool, which we will check out in a moment. So that's gonna be a next gen suite for you. Uh, we'll keep walking back here. So a nice little extra area. Again, 2950 square feet does include this, this area. So let's go check out upstairs. There is a really nice big closet under the stairs as well. Uh, it does wrap around to the right there. So plenty of storage. Uh, and then sometimes people will go ahead and put the bar back in here or take it out, whatever they want. But it could be your coat closet as well. All right, going up the carpeted stairs. And again, that skip trowel uh, texture on the walls, nice window, all recessed lighting throughout the home. Again, another really nice three propeller fan. Uh, now, this home kind of sits high up, so if you peek out the windows, you can see a lot of the valley. There's a lot of space. So really big uh, couch here, really big sectional couch. Uh, nice, good sized loft. Again, 2950 square foot. Nice TV area. And this will bring us back to the laundry room, another automatic light. So upstairs designated laundry room. Now again, we're on the rest of the house, which is gonna be three bedroom. Same tile in all the wet areas. I don't know why I get out of breath on these things. I run out of breath doing these tours. Okay, so this is the first bedroom upstairs, second bedroom of the house. A uh, really big three door closet, super wide, uh, nice size room. It is a single bed here uh, with a good size dresser, but yeah, plenty of space in this room. Basically the same room here. You got the three closet doors there, same type of bed. Uh, pretty cool paint job in here. Uh, looks like a model again, but yeah, great room in here. And then uh, we have the shared full bath for the two bedrooms. So that's gonna be bedroom two and bedroom three. Uh, real nice double sink, same as that bathroom downstairs that we saw. Um, nice big mirror, kind of standard fare in here, tower, uh, shower, rod, and another, you know, fiberglass tub with kind of the standard, you know, standard procedure here. Uh, stainless, or not stainless, I'm sorry, chrome hardware on everything. So yeah, just kind of a standard procedure. Uh, track home full bath but very nice and then this brings us into the primary bedroom so this is a king bed two dressers uh the two really big uh you have the two big dressers the two nightstands the king bed and plenty of space very tall ceilings upstairs as well uh the light is built in no ceiling fan in here kind of interesting uh, but it is a nice big room and it's nice to see houses uh, homes with furniture in them because then you get kind of spatial awareness. It's hard to tell how big a room is when there's nothing in it. So um, this room actually feels bigger, I believe, with furniture in it. If this king bed wasn't here, I don't think you would believe that a king bed could fit here, but there's plenty of space. So just kind of one of those things where your eyes trick you a little bit. And this brings us back to the primary bathroom. So we're going to have a big walk-in closet here on the left side. Really big walk-in closet. Plenty of storage, shelving, hanging, water closet to the right. Standard, but we do have a door, I like to point that out. And then we come back into the primary bathroom and this is really nice. We do have a little linen closet to the left, kind of deep there, plenty of space. Uh, we have a glass shower here and then a huge tub, really big rectangular tub. That thing's gotta be three and a half feet wide. Uh, extra wide. We have the glass window there and then two sinks with the vanity. Same setup as the other bathrooms. We do have the nice area for the little stool there and mirrors all the way across. So really nice primary bathroom. Love this huge tub. Tubs are great, but you have to use them. You got to use the tubs or, or they're just great to look at, I guess. So that's the primary bedroom. And then let me show you the star of the show from up here. Although that, ba that bathtub is very nice, but so we do have a balcony from the upstairs. Um, again, this is kind of a high up area. Uh, this is gonna be 
That's the South Point Casino that way. Um, the Raiders practice facility is just out this way. And then the Las Vegas Strip. I don't know if you can see it here. You can see the stratosphere, I believe, there. But yeah, so you can see the Las Vegas Strip out here. Really nice, so strip views, and you can see all the way to the valley, the lights. So it's probably really beautiful up here at night, I would imagine. That's about it for this, uh, this home's interior. We're gonna go check out this beautiful pool out back. Thanks for watching, I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Please give me a call. If you have any questions, you know anyone looking to buy, sell, or invest. And I thank you for watching this. And we will go out and look at this beautiful pool real quick. See what's going on out here. Yeah, this is a beautiful home. Really nice. It feels very homey. Okay, all the pictures are very non-personal, so I'm thinking it's staged. They did a great job. It feels lived in, but it is staged. Um, I'm thinking, because, I mean, who has those kind of pictures? Come on. I mean, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but someone have a face or something in there, so. I don't know. Mystery to be solved? Maybe not. This brings us to the huge covered patio. You need your shade in Las Vegas. We got one, we have one, two, three ceiling fans with lights. We have a beautiful covered area. We have a nice, nice uh, turf area here. So if you wanna take your shoes off, you just wanna lay down and then a beautiful big pool. Um, they've used this backyard to the max. Very nicely done. Pool equipment's gonna be over here as well as the air conditioners. There's that balcony upstairs we were just at. But beautiful pool. You have kind of a little bubbler deck right here or kind of a sitting deck. You put your chairs in and then it goes deeper as it goes. Um, but very nice area. Could do some, uh, do whatever you like out here. I mean, it's, it's kind of just set up for you to come in and make it your own, you know, personalize it and you're good to go. There's gonna be the door to the other uh, to the other side of the home, the next generation side as well. So yeah, this is this is it. There you go, down the side, that's gonna go to that gate, the next gen door is there. So, pool looks really clean. It doesn't appear to be on, not sure. Usually the pool would be running, but if not, it's very quiet. Um, but, you know, probably saving power uh, while no one's here, so. Anyways, thank you so much. I'm Andrew Guy in Simply Vegas. See you on the next one.